friends, how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. Today I did a little three looks, one palette video using the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. Let's just see right here. I asked you guys on Instagram stories and Twitter if you thought I should do three looks, one palette videos. You guys said yes. Everyone on Twitter said yes and everyone but one person on Instagram said yes and I see you. I see you. And then on Twitter, I also ran a poll between four different palettes of which palette that you wanted me to do first, and Jaclyn Hill won by a lot. Before we get started, I just wanted to put in here the Three Looks, One Palette idea was totally inspired by Atlee. I will have her YouTube in the description box. I'm not trying to steal ideas, and I know the very last Three Looks, One Palette video she did was on the Jaclyn Hill palette. I didn't particularly want to do this one first because she did that. I don't want it to seem like I'm trying to copy her in any way, but that's truly just what won the poll. You can go on my Twitter, you can see for yourself. Yourself. It's what one the people have spoken. The looks that she came up with with that palette are beautiful. Definitely check out the video. I will link it down below. As you saw in the intro, I did more of a bronzy, bold, neutral look with the pop of color. I did a very simple neutral look for the everyday person and then I did this bright colorful look that you see right here. I had a lot of fun doing all of these looks. I had a lot of fun making this video. Hopefully editing it will be just as fun. I haven't done voiceovers in a while so that's going to be weird. I haven't even done that part yet but it was fun. I've done looks the past few days, recorded them and here we are. So I hope you enjoy them. I hope you like this kind of video. If you want to see me create the looks then just stay tuned. Going in right away, I'm taking the shade Pooter and I'm just running that through my crease as my transition shade with a fluffy blending brush. Next, I'm taking the shade Buns and I'm pretty much just doing the exact same thing but focusing it a little bit more on that outer corner with a slightly smaller blending brush and just making sure I really blow this out. This is gonna be super smoky and super beautiful. With the leftover that's on that brush, I'm also gonna run that down under my lower lash line, making it nice and smoky and grungy. Going in next with the shade Meeks, I'm simply just patting this all over the lid. Nothing crazy here. Next, I'm gonna be picking up the shade Twerk and I'm just taking a pencil brush and I'm just working on packing that all in my inner corner, a little bit into the inner third of the eye and under the third of my lower lash line. And I'm just gonna keep building up that color, going back in with that first blending brush every so often until the pigment and blend looks the way I want it to. Taking the blue, black, endless silky eye pen from Pixie, I'm just gonna run that in my lower lash line. Next, I'm just taking Beam, that last shadow, and popping that in my inner corner and then blending it out with that first brush again. Picking up my Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Liner, I'm just gonna draw a nice big wing. This is totally optional, but I like the wing. I think it just adds a little extra drama. For lashes, I'm gonna be using the Allure Light Lashes from House of Lashes. I'm gonna pop those on, and then I am grabbing Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick in the shade Truffle and popping that on my lips. Next, I'm taking the Nudes Gloss from Loritzi and popping that on my lips as well. And that is it. For this second look, I'm starting by taking the shade MFEO and running that through my crease as my transition shade with a big fluffy brush. Taking the shade Jax, I'm going to run this in the outer third of the eye and also in my crease when I have less product. I still want this to be fairly grungy even though this is the more neutral wearable look. Taking the leftover on that brush, I will also be smoking that out on the lower lash line and blending it out with that very first brush we used. Taking the shade Sissy next, I'm just going to pack this all over the majority of the lid. I want to leave a little bit of that first corner open a little bit. Taking the shade Faint, I'm going to pop that in that inner corner and that inner third area where I left it blank. And last, taking in light and just popping that in my inner corner and brow bone. For lashes, I'm going to be picking up the Knockout Lashes and then going right in with my Plushies Liquid Lip from Lime Crime in the shade Turkish Delight. Also from Lime Crime, I'm gonna dot some little spots of the Lit Diamond Crusher just to add a cute little glow on my lips, and that is it. First things first, I'm picking up Creamsicle with a big fluffy brush, and I'm running that through my crease and under my lower lash line just to get a nice base going, keeping it nice and grungy. Next, going in with Jada, I'm also going to run this through my crease and I'm just going to keep going back and forth dipping in more times to build up the intensity to what I want it to be. Just take your time and blend it out. 
It doesn't have to be precise, you just want it to be very blown out. Next, picking up Enchanted, I'm going to be popping this on the inner and outer corners of my eye, creating a nice little halo effect. With a little bit more on that brush, I'm also going to run that under my lower lash line. Going back in with that brush that I used Jada just to blend it out even more. Next, picking up Diva, I'm just going to place that right next to where we placed Enchanted, almost in the exact same spot, honestly, and blending it out again before picking up Pool Party and popping that on the center of my lid with my finger. Last, I'm just gonna pick up Beam and pop that in my inner corner and brow bone. For lashes, I'm gonna be using the Allura Light Lashes and then going in with Celebrity Skin from Jeffree Star, I'm just gonna place little dots on my lips and blend it out with my finger and then going in with I'm Nude from Jeffree Star and doing the same thing, just focusing that on the very center. Last thing, I'm gonna be popping Dose of Colors Goals Gloss on top of everything and that is it. That is it, that is all three looks. I hope you enjoyed them. I tried to use totally different colors in the palettes and I like what I came up with. This truly is one of the best palettes that I own. I think everybody needs this palette. I think anybody from beginner to advanced can get joy and love out of this palette. You really have everything that you need. This is the palette I could take with me by itself and I would be fine. So if you don't have that palette yet, I highly recommend it. It's really good. It's very well loved. Anyways, thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed this three looks one palette video, please give me a thumbs up so I know to make more. If you guys like them, I might try to do these every like three to four weeks. We will see. I have lots of palettes and this is a really good way to showcase all the things that you can do with them. And with that being said, leave me comments down below on which palettes you'd like me to use next. I feel like I'm leaning towards the BH Cosmetics Weekend Festival or the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar, but let me know what you want to see. If you're not already, please hop over to Instagram. It's Beauty Bean. Follow me there. I post every single day, and don't forget to subscribe here before you leave. I post every two to three days. Let me know what other videos you want to see on my channel. Again, thank you so much for watching. I really, truly appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Okay, bye. The, the look she came up with with, wow, speak correctly. Jeez.